Hey, bro. That nigga in this wood right here. Stop comparing me to a dead nigga, though. As I'm currently making this video, yesterday he was arrested. This is live footage from someone's Facebook live stream of him getting arrested. Apparently he was hit by an officer car at first. He's on the ground there and the officers are basically arresting him. This is just so sad. And he got me in here babysitting. Dude, come get your baby. Let's just hope that this doesn't become your actual reality. This was actually a clip from, I think, a couple months ago or a year or two ago. So nothing recent. Let's just hope this doesn't manifest to become a thing in your life because Sky Jackson is actually the queen of manifesting certain things and you will see that in this video. So let's get started. What is up, guys? And welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Hi, it's Keisha. Nice to meet you Or Get in here because you've got quite a bit to get on into. So I obviously caught you guys up to date with everything that was going on with Sky Jackson announcing her pregnancy and then people doing some digging into her boyfriend baby daddy fiance aka yaki if you're new to this channel and you're just finding me from your recommended hey bitch how you doing i love to have you over here so come join um you guys might have not watched yesterday's video was it yesterday or day before babes my concept of time nowadays have been absolute madness but yeah i basically told you guys about yaki aka her partner okay so this is future me editing this video and i've actually found out that his name is deandre bergen or bergen tmz have released that in their article so i'm sorry if i keep referring to him as yucky yucky but that that just sends me so we have to stick with that but his government name is deandre i was gonna say her partner in crime but he's the one apparently doing the crimes but then again it's is it a crime in the words of sade aka my middle name Sorry, I'm rambling a lot. Also, I'm on my period. No one cared to know, but I thought I would share because, you know, everyone seems to be oversharing on their podcast. I'm joking. Let me stop it. Also, a lot of people are now waking up to the fact that I'm funny from my last video, but it took you how long to clock that? I kind of find that a little bit insulting, to be honest with you, because I feel like vibes. I've been the funniest thing. I've been the funniest thing leaving. Are you done with stupid? I'm the funniest person I know, but then again, I probably don't. I don't know enough people, so that could also be the reason but yeah i'm glad that you guys are clocking that i'm funny and yeah <laughs> i don't know I think that's, my, that's my favorite like um my favorite compliment to get you know and i love when people can like compliment my sense of humor um but anyways enough about me more on sky jackson a lot has come out since my last video yes i'm shookity shockity shook i was researching i was typing i was digging my fingers on my keyboard like what the flip is this babes and a lot of you guys have been in my dms as well so shout out to you guys big up you guys for you know actually following me i feel like i need to start like promoing myself more because babies if i'm not gonna do it who's gonna do it for me i have to be my biggest fan yeah in this life you've only got you you and i wait what you only got babes i'm not gonna explain it you know what i mean go and follow me over on instagram it's keisha underscore it's a fun time over on there and i've been replying to my dms as promised if i haven't gotten back to you it's because my nails are hella long right now and just typing right now seems like a flipping chore but i will get back to you i pinky promise definitely go and shoot me a dm go and follow me over on instagram it's keisha underscore a lot of you guys came through to like slide in my dms and share some stuff with me um yeah it's been a fun time over on instagram because typically when i think of instagram i think of Oh, I think of stress. I think of, oh, Jesus, I don't want to be here. But lately, I've wanted to be here. So, hey, bitch, come and join me. It's a fun time. Plus, I look cute over there. I tag where I get my outfits from. So, yes. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on into the video. I know a lot of people are, like, surprised that Sky Jackson will go for this type of guy who looks like he's from the hood, who looks like he doesn't know he's left and right, you know, who looks like he has no sense of direction, basically. And the truth is, if we're going to have an honest ass conversation, first and foremost, get comfortable and cozy and get your notepad and pen because there's a lot of things that can be learned from the situation but never believe that you are above a situation yeah never believe that and i said that in my last video stop thinking that it can never be you now again we there's certain measures you can take to prevent these kind of things from happening of course you know protect your peace don't just let anybody into your ding dong you know just be cautious and really think like before i do this especially unprotected before i do this of course mistakes can happen and stuff like that but like can i really see this person like like do i is it worth this person being here is what i'm trying to say okay i'm not trying to get demonetized because youtube yeah mm. the thing is a lot of people would describe sky jackson as like this classy well-spoken educated young woman so that's why a lot of people are shickety shockety shook by the type of man that she has chosen in this situation but the thing is we shouldn't be that shocked because this has kind of been a repeat and she's kind of told us her celebrity crush and her type before but i guess people weren't listening i'm gonna go back to what i just said a couple seconds ago i don't see sky jackson as classy i'm gonna keep it so real she's a beautiful stunning young lady and i'll give her that but for people to be doing the whole thing of like oh my god sky jackson could have anyone she wants i said this in my last video i don't think so 
I, I genuinely just don't think so. She is that girl, period. But I haven't seen her on a screen since the Disney days when I was 12, 13, 14.5. I just feel like we need to be honest when it comes to this conversation. I'm not saying that she can't get any. I'm not saying that there's not a lot of guys out there. There are. I think there's a lot of people who are educated, who are attractive, who have a great personality, who can provide things who Sky Jackson could get for sure. But to say, oh my gosh, she's Sky Jackson, she can get anyone. I don't think she's on that level where she has really solidified her name fully and I think a lot of people just really know her from the Disney Channel days and there's also a large community of people who don't know her aren't familiar with her work so let's just be real here and that's not me saying that she's not booked and busy because I think that she is and she has been a part of quite a few projects in which I mentioned one of my deep dives on Sky Jackson a couple months ago let's go ahead and rewind to I think it was like back in 2019 if I'm not mistaken where Sky Jackson took to her second Instagram her private Instagram if you guys didn't know Sky Jackson has like a burner account where she would crap to a bunch of different celebrities people that she's worked with and specifically a couple people from jesse she basically doesn't have the nicest things to say about these people and i feel like a lot of it's unprovoked that like she just wakes up and chooses violence i don't know why bertram couldn't come and protect this young lady and save her but you know what let's not blame other people and we have to blame the individuals here too i feel like in my last video it may have seemed like i was going more ham on yerky that name was sending me like i need to know his government name and I need to know it now. Like, what the flip is going on? <laughs> Yaki is crazy. Also, I was going through my comments um, in my last video, and it was a good one. Like, a lot of people were, like, just, like, commenting a bunch of different gems. There was a lot of funny things. People, like, commenting their favourite moment from my video. I love when people do that. But anyways, um, one of the comments that stand out to me was someone saying, Keisha, your accent, when you say Yaki Yaki, sounds like I'm saying Yaki. It doesn't, but <laughs> I just think that was so funny. <laughs> Sky Jackson took to her second uh, private Instagram and mentioned how she wants someone to hook her up with the rapper NBA Youngboy. Now listen, you can love NBA rapper NBA Youngboy's music, yeah? He could be a vibe, he could help you through some tough, deep times, but could he do that for himself? No. Because to my knowledge, he's gone, he's bouncing back and forth, prison. He's freed, back to prison. Like, that kind of thing is too normalised. Like, you can be a fan of someone's music, sure, but to uh, want someone to hook you up with NBA Youngboy is strange behaviour. A few years ago, she was also in one of his live streams. She was commenting, let's see the teeth. Let's see the teeth. Ooh, what grills he got on? What colour? Let's see the teeth. <laughs> That's why you don't really know these celebrities and you can't be like, oh my God, I never would have thought Sky Jackson would. You don't know her personally. You don't know what her type is. You don't know what her fetish is. Because I do think also some people who are well-educated and come from a specific type of household, right? Love the bad guy. The Chun-Li is cuffing season. I'm going to remix it. Not big boy. I need a bad boy. Give me a bad boy. They need rappers like me. I'm the name the bad guy, Chan Lee. A lot of people from specific areas where they aren't around the hood, where they have more money, do fetishize a specific type of lifestyle for themselves or a specific type of dude. And this isn't unheard of. I think a lot of people do it. Even people who go to like private school, they want a bad guy. And when you mean when I mean bad guy, I mean people who are on the streets, I mean people who have guns, I mean people who are about certain types of crimes, right? So that could have been a thing for Sky Jackson, I don't know. But saying that you want someone to hook you up with NBA young boy, girl, it's not even a want anymore, it's more a need. I need women, specifically black women, to stand up and to stop having your standards set low aiming low i don't know where that comes from to be honest i don't understand the glamorization of these men who are deemed as thugs who are deemed as more low lives who are deemed as people who they don't have jobs they don't actually have a job and they fend on women they fend on the streets like why would you aspire to be with someone like that like i don't get it i i just i don't know it's something that's quite a common theme i've noticed now not only in the black community but it definitely has seen it definitely has seemed quite normalized and it really is heartbreaking there's so much people who limit themselves to these types of guys and my thing is your partner is a reflection of you i mean i know what they say about tall skinny guys they say the peen the peen must be good sky jackson get it together girl because if you're staying for that reason and to anyone listening right now who's staying because oh my god it's just so bomb <laughs> girl it's never worth it never ever ever worth it you can find good elsewhere stand up get up stand up get up reminder you can do better.
this is what you wanted then this to me confirms you're not even mad at the position you're in my thing is the difference between a yucky and nba young boy is at least a young boy has money people keep saying oh my god she should have been with kai Sana. sorry that's not her type she's made it very clear she wants her nba young boy she wants someone who's about the street. She wants somebody who's street smart, somebody who can pick up guns and commit certain crimes, allegedly. Something bizarre can be seen on Yerky's body. Now, he's got tattoos, right? But he also has a tattoo of OTF. OTF is short for Only the Family, which was a group created by Chicago rapper Lil Durk back in 2010. Now, Lil Durk constantly tells the police officers that OTF is not a gang, it's not a gang, but many people believe that he is actually in a gang made up of him and his boys. Um, so it's kind of bizarre that Yerky has that tatted on him, but maybe he resonates with only the family. I don't know. Like maybe he resonates with it and the lyrics, I, girl, I don't flip it now anyways. Um, it's very funny though, because Yerky's actually from Ohio, I believe. So <laughs> I don't know. It makes it a little bit comical, but we all have a silly tattoo or two, but that definitely just gave me the ick because it kind of feels like you're not even a part of that gang. So why do you have it tatted on you? Like, I don't know. It just... It would be a red flag for me. Again, we all have like silly tattoos, stuff in which probably could have done without, but nothing on the level of trying to basic. I don't know. It just says a lot about his mentality. And I'm not saying that he isn't about certain things because I do believe so. But I also do believe that he glamorizes a certain lifestyle. So that's already such a huge red flag. And I don't know how Sky Jackson can see that and not be turned off by it, especially if she's aware of who nba young boy is she definitely is aware of Lil Durk. so yeah she wants someone to hook her up with rapper nba young boy who allegedly daniel brigoli previously dated i don't know how the word got out i don't know who's in that spam account also i would love to name the name of the spam account if it still exists i'm a nosy ass bitch and at least i'm real about it so daniel brigoli who was 16 at the time wasn't too pleased and expressed her annoyance uh with a post and delete okay um she said that sky previously commented on the fact that danielle got a tattoo of young boy's name on her and now she's complimenting his looks danielle was apparently upset because sky has done this before quote unquote she said she literally does this with every guy that i talk to danielle said later danielle accused sky of only talking to guys because danielle was initially involved with them the dudes you're trying to talk to because i talk to them they aren't your type she said you don't talk to dudes like that so stop I don't know much about that bad baby now i'm hearing that she has cancer honestly thoughts and prayers go out to her like generally wishing her the best okay um but this was the days where daniel brigoli was messy 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 made some threats you know basically when i see you it's on site okay she basically filed a restraint order um because their threats were like too much and stuff and um listen I feel like this is the days where Bad Baby would generally turn up, she would turn up to someone's house and fight them just for the sake of fighting them, for the sake of going viral. So, hey, I'm not mad at Sky Jackson um, filing um, a restraint order. It went through, but then I think Bad Baby had gone to rehab around that time, so she just dismissed the case. There was another situation. Now, this one doesn't have too much context to it. There was this situation where, I don't know who this rapper is, Lil Keed. So, at the time of me filming this video, I wasn't aware that Lil Keed is actually dead. But there was this thing where his baby mom at the time had mentioned this in a post. She said, please stop tagging me in anything that has to do with Sky Jackson. I don't give a F. Tag my baby daddy. That's his girl, not mine's. So there's that. That's why I can't feel ba too bad for Sky Jackson. The only person I feel bad for in this situation is that baby who's going to have to be raised into an environment where mum and dad is not going to be getting on. Let's be very clear. Like they might save face for camera and stuff, but he can't even behave himself. He's running to like Instagram live streams and basically being shady towards the dead. Talking about Cameron Boyce. Hey bro, that nigga in his wood right here. Stop comparing me to a dead nigga though. The fuck? Is y'all cool? Like what the fuck? Is y'all cool? Y'all keep on comparing me to a nigga that's dead. I get it, like, I don't like being compared to people in general, but I just felt like, because we see a lot of his actions been done in distaste, this just felt like too far now. I like, just don't speak of it. You don't need to reply to the comment. You wanted to be shady because you wanted to be shady. I wasn't feeling that comment with the whole Cameron Boyce thing. We can't keep just blaming Yerky, you know? It's, it's two parties involved here. You knew he had three baby mamas prior to you being the fourth. So, Yerky looks like the type of person to like, you know, you're sleeping or whatever. And then you, just for some reason, you know, people love to leave their purse out on a table. Oh, she's sleeping. Let me make sure she's sleeping. How much, how much, how much older is she got? 
Well, where do men put their stuff? Because a woman, I'll put it in my bra, innit? But put it in my pocket. And go. Yaki looks like he misbehaves. His parents hate to see him come home. But this is what Sky Jackson wants, and this is what she shall get. This is probably her prayer. It's not the Sierra prayer. I know what prayer I'm picking. Sky Jackson, this is what you manifested, basically, apart from the fact that he's broke. Now, there's a video of her cooking for him. <sighs> hey, 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 look at me, though. Look at me, though. Look at me, though. Hey, hey, look at me, look at me. Hey, hey, look at me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at, ooh, she messing it up in there. <laughs> okay, season. Hi. <laughs> Wow, I need to take some skills from her because that food looks good. That food looks scrumptious. Mm, okay, girl. I see you. God, I think I might be... There might be something wrong with me because I just feel as... Like, I get it, cooking is like a thing that couples do. But I'm someone who... Babes, I don't even cook on a... Like, <laughs> it's not a flex. It's not a flex. But I don't even be cooking like that. So, like, why am I going to cook for a guy? especially if we haven't even been together that long especially if you're not even showing that you can bring things to the table you don't get my cooking skills or my lack of cooking skills don't worry watch me 2025 yeah i'm gonna be a whole flipping chef <laughs> there's a video of her cooking for him you know i'm like oh my god oh 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 okay girl you can cook that kid will be just fine <laughs> you can cook but i just feel like what is he bringing to the table and i'm usually not like a nosy ass but i am I am. Who was I kidding? I'm not usually this nosy to want to know, okay, what, what did I even get up to? But now I'm just kind of thinking, like, what do you guys even have conversations about? Oh, you're a bad boy. Show me how bad you are. Like, I don't even know. Does he have something on her? Because that's the only thing that can maybe make sense. Like, is he... Because he doesn't even claim you on, on Facebook. He's like, I can't believe I got that Disney bitch pregnant. And then calls you a hoe. So I'm like he has to have something on you that's the only thing that makes sense like i don't know whether they were doing things together he was recording like i hope it's not anything like that i don't know sky jackson mother always gave me strict but then again it's like the people who have strict parents always end up doing the most rebellious things so i don't know there's a bunch of what ifs it was this i don't know to be honest but i feel like does he have something on her like some really good juicy tea well apparently someone has got something on him now i just want to say this yeah i don't know if i fully believe this i know a lot of people have been saying that this guy is giving fruitcake they think he's fruity until there's evidence then let's not run with something but i thought it was something worth mentioning because this guy is very serious in his tiktok video oh, so i can't just sit and keep being quiet no more sky jackson baby daddy need to go ahead and tell the truth about what me and him got going on like you going on live trying to do all this about her but you need to tell her why you doing all that and who you really like and who you really want to be with like i don't got no issues with sky jackson i don't want no beef and i've been quiet for so long and he's telling me don't text her don't dm her, her anything about like what we got going on stop paying so now i'm gonna start playing i'm gonna start running my mouth and i get she had a baby and she's coming out to the world and she's pregnant now but he needs to really come out and tell the truth before i do and this is the last time I'm going to let everybody know before I show all the videos and pictures and all that stuff when I was up at your house. But you're such a gangbanger. Like, tell them all the stuff we do. To put people's business out there, like, on TikTok. Like, I'm not going to be, like, standing and talking like, this person did this to me. I, I don't know. Maybe I would, actually. Would I? I think, I don't know. I, I don't know. But then maybe he's fed up. I don't know if this is fully true. It is all alleged. But apparently he is gay. There's just so much happening. Like, I got, can you keep up? No when I close my breath it just gets worse and worse and it's just even more headache for Sky Jackson like it's one thing to have a baby daddy who's not claiming you but for him to apparently be gay as well I don't know if I fully believe that or I don't know whether they're just like wanting everyone to be on the down low I don't know maybe it makes for like a great juicy story if it's not true then honestly karma is a bitch in the words of Jojo Siwa he is um urging Yerky to come out and that you know he has specific like videos and pictures of them for proof and he wants yaki to just start being honest now even if this was true why are you gonna out someone like i don't know if i would go about it in this way but then again maybe he feels like okay you have a baby you're not being fully honest i don't know if i'd go about it in this way because i feel like i'm literally outing someone and that just feels like one of the worst things to do so i don't know now <laughs> this to me i'm like bro what is the name of this film why was there a video like what yesterday where he was hit by a cop car basically 
allegedly according to the person who was like recording it on facebook live apparently people do use facebook also it's a joke like i don't know why people take things too seriously i always say this don't take me too serious because maybe i don't take myself seriously so why are you taking me seriously sounds like a you problem I, in my video yesterday i was saying that i was basically saying like who still uses facebook babes if i'm gonna sell something i'm using facebook marketplace so of course i still use facebook i'm just joking around but then again i'm also like i'm not actively texting people on facebook but the whole facebook marketplace hey bitch how are you doing hi you know like i use it but i was just joking i don't understand like i mean uh, people with common sense knew i was joking but like why are you taking what i'm saying so personally if you still use facebook babes run that in shop and use it keep using it till the death of you do you know what i mean like love that for you it's really not that deep and i feel like a lot of people are so sensitive and get so butthurt over things that don't really matter we're talking about a 22 year old having a baby with a deadbeat and you're more fixated on how can she say that about facebook do you own facebook are you getting any profits from it or you buying them ads and nothing's coming from it just calm down and calm your tits still love you though i really wish this man was serious because he's got my good sis in the kitchen cooking focused and everything focused and focused she got a body like that ain't never seen her like that nah, nah. but seriously though, my good sis is focused and determined to complete a task here she's determined to get this food cooked seasoned and ready and delightful and tasty and you know what babes i love it i love it but i wish he was serious and there he is at LAX International. Who paid for the flight? <laughs> My nosy ass. I need to actually go and make some friends. Y'all hoes don't cook. Oh. Oh. They say the key to a man's heart is through food, through cooking. I'm sorry, but you won't be getting it from me unless there's a ring on my finger or like pure commitment and you're actually bringing something to the table. Let's just be for real. We need to stop doing wife role things when you're not wifey yet. Okay. He might be saying, oh my God, there's wifey, but where's the ring? I'm looking at my hands right now, but, where, but where's the ring? I feel like we need to really rethink the way we do things because I've heard time and time again where a lot of people do the whole wife role. Babe, I don't even see a ring on her finger. So fiance where? Who proposed to who? I'm a curious, I'm curious George right now. I want to know what's tea. I've got nothing better to do right now. Things are boring. No one's in my life. So bitch, I'm going to go and provoke. I'm joking. <laughs> um, you know, when I hear situations like this, I'm like, do you know what? I'm kind of happy with being single. But then again, you can be in a relationship and just not maneuver in this way. And also, I do think that a lot of people who are laughing are Sky Jacksons themselves. Like, there are people in similar situations themselves who can't pick a man. Not too much now on the laughter. And I do feel bad for laughing, I'm not going to lie. But when I see his photos, I think it's the poses and stuff that just really get me. Because I'm like, where did you find this man from? It was like a video where, like, he was saying that he's an abuser. Really? Bro, y'all talking about doing Like, what? I ain't do shit. And I'm single. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Baby girl, you ain't know I'm good for domestic violences. On life, we we'll both go to jail, beating on each other. Smiling my mugshot. I don't know what went wrong, but something went wrong at some point in his life because to incriminate yourself like that on camera and talking about domestic violence and how you know you both put your hands on each other it's just so disturbing and honestly somebody who is quite content and stuck in their own ways i don't know whether there's any getting through to a guy like this and for this video alone sky jackson i know that you feel a little different here okay like all jokes aside we can put on the whole brave face and pretend that things are cool it's not cool it's not and this video alone shows a lot about his character the way he just talks about it carelessly like it means nothing to him it seems like a average day in his life he doesn't care about the repercussions in order to and also to incriminate yourself when you know that this can be screen recorded and later for whatever reason used against you while still continuing to do it this guy is the most like honestly the stupidest person i've ever come across this might be one of the silliest cases i've ever had to report on my channel because it's like what the flip and also sky jackson leave get out run and now when we look back to the whole situation that happened in august at universal it's like she was caught hitting him again do not condone it but it's like what is really the dynamic here between the two of you are you both just hitting on each other that's just gross behavior like i really do like i don't know because the fact that sky jackson's still defending him and saying oh my god his account was hacked this is all lies fake news babes who's gonna hack that man nobody do you know if i could hack someone i would hack specific people's accounts not a flipping yucky yucky i hate when celebrities try and do the whole thing of like you guys are too in my business but then you come running back to us and telling us your business what in the next year or two if i'm hacking people i'm gonna hack a beyonce no shade but then again i'm trying to what am i even gonna find on that that's the thing nothing beyonce don't really i don't think beyonce really even uses social media like that like if i'm gonna hack someone i'm gonna hack someone who like is worth hacking let's be real i'm not hacking yucky yucky
at least like people would respect you a little bit more if he had money if he actually had a career like let's say that he was an up-and-coming rapper it's still cringe but like people will respect him if he looked like he had some sort of drive and at least had money but it looks like you are literally carrying this relationship i still wish you a healthy and great delivery I wish you the best but i can't imagine your mental health right now is all the way together i can imagine that you're stressed with the headlines coming out right now but babes this is what you're doing and you're still to this day defending him and making it seem like everything is fake news it's not fake news though babes is it it's real this man is incriminating himself he's going on live streams he's looking so stupid whilst doing it as well and sounding so slow again there's a lot of things that can be learned from these situations it could be anyone it could be you 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 <laughs> but you could even be you too all right it could be anyone but i think that we need to be careful and i've already given i gave you guys some tips and stuff in my last video but we need to be very careful like all jokes aside and i think that yucky just needs maybe to be behind bars some people just don't quite understand it until their freedom is gone i don't know exactly what's happened in that situation but i'm just saying that some people are just troublemakers and aren't gonna learn what was it they said in cater to you by destiny child your wish is my comments I wanna cater to my man. I guess she maybe took those lyrics too far. And also, I'm not catering to anyone. Not just yet. Also, I need a man in order to do any of that. Where is he? <laughs> Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Once again, go and follow me over my Instagram. It's Keisha underscore. And I'll catch you guys real soon for a brand new video. Bye-bye.